Start with those developments. The crash was reported around 6.30 yesterday evening on Friant and Copper River Road in northeast Fresno. The suspect located several hours later west of Millerton. He's been identified as 25-year-old Matthew Hiram Cheneau. Police say he was speeding when he hit 70-year-old Ram Batia, who was walking in a crosswalk at the intersection. Our Pedro Quintana is live in Northeast Fresno tonight. Pedro, Police Chief Jerry Dyer, he released a lot of information about this earlier today. Evan, that is right. President Police Chief Jerry Dyer told me 70 year old Ram Batia was out here for his evening walk when he was struck by 25 year old Matthew, uh, Matthew Chino's black BMW right here at this intersection. Now, the most bizarre about this story is that Chino uh, left the scene. He also took off from the scene and pretty much called dispatch, letting them know he filed a false police report that his vehicle had been stolen. It was a fatal traffic collision. In our city. First, the police chief Jerry Dyer announcing the arrest of 25 year old Matthew Cheneau. Investigators say Thursday afternoon, Cheneau and a passenger had been drinking at the Pine Flat area, then stopping at Applebee's in northeast Fresno, having another drink and a bite to eat. They were traveling approximately 60 miles per hour uh, northbound on Friant. Cheneau was driving the vehicle, and uh, when he got to the area of Copper uh, River Road, uh, that is when he struck what he described at that time as an object that was in the crosswalk. 70-year-old Ram Batia was out for his evening walk when he was struck by Cheneau's black BMW. Batia was pronounced dead on scene. Police say Cheneau ditched the BMW once it became disabled on Aubrey Road just west of Millerton. Cheneau reporting it stolen to police dispatch. It's, it's difficult to believe that a, a person who struck a human being uh, would not stop at that location and he was able to drive 15 miles uh, from that location. There's no doubt um, he, he was not going to report this to the police department. According to family members, Batia loved yoga. He recently turned 70 years old last month and just celebrated his 45th wedding anniversary with his wife. This is a, uh, a senseless, needless death that occurred in our city as a result of one human being's decision to get behind the wheel of a car. As you know, does face several felony charges, including for gross vehicular manslaughter. He was booked into the Fresno County Jail. He will be arraigned on those charges next week. For now, we're live here from Friant Road, Pedro Quintana, KC24, Local News That Matters.